Hey, what's happening nation? It's Joku. I know it's been a minute and I wanted to explain why because I have always been straight up with you guys and I always try to cut through the bullshit, but I cannot be the only person that feels this way going into this season. I fell in love with this team when I was like 10 years old and I have followed them all through the years and now I'm sitting here at 44 just shaking my damn head. I have seen this team play at their very best and I have seen this team play with Jamarcus Russell. I have been through all of the ups and downs, but no matter how the team ended up doing throughout that season, going through the offseason and starting the next year, I was always optimistic as hell because it was a level playing field and everybody has a shot at the Super Bowl. I truly believe that shit. You get some fresh players in there, maybe you get some chemistry, everybody starts to gel, and then that shit just takes off and you just make the ultimate run. But this is no shit the first time in 34 years that I don't see it. And I fucking hate to say it, but I'm torn because I honestly feel like Ziegler has done a pretty damn good job. I do not agree with everything that he's done, but I loved our draft. I thought we had a fucking awesome draft. I thought we picked up some pretty key free agents. I thought we missed out on a few huge ones that we desperately needed. But you have to roll with what you got. But what we have is not good enough. Especially if it's being coached by this dipshit right here. Honestly, I think that's it. It really comes down to McDaniels coaching this team. And I do not think that he deserves to be a head coach anywhere in the NFL. I legitimately have zero faith in this man. And with Devontae subtly saying that this offensive scheme sucks and JJ hopping on a plane to fucking nowhere really speaks volumes about what's going on behind the scenes in our front office. Because I will tell y'all right now, Zamir White, as much as I love that kid, he is not a number one running back. Then all the hype about Jimmy G hitting these receivers on their short little routes and how accurate he is and how he brings this whole big new dynamic to the team. It's all fucking training camp bullshit. That dude is one injury away from this team being completely fucked. We just have to pray that our offensive line that is playing all together for a second year in a row, which is very rare in the NFL, can actually grow, keep their shit together, and protect that man. But you lose one or two people across that starting front five and you start getting in to the depth of our offensive line, we're fucked, man. I'm telling you. Then when you start looking at our defense, how fucking hard is it to understand that you need a true linebacker to win in this league? And the Raiders continue to completely neglect that fucking position, and it drives me insane. And for everybody who was all jacked up like, oh shit dude, we ended up getting Marcus Peters. There's a reason his ass was sitting on free agency a week before training camp started around the league. This is a classic Raider move of bringing in a big name player to get his last fucking paycheck while he does nothing for us. Oh, but he's always been a Raider fan. It's fucking bullshit. He's always been a dude that's just looking for his next big bag. Nothing more, nothing less. The only difference is now he's not as fast. He's not as strong. And you're going to end up seeing his ass get burned on numerous occasions next season. And then our defensive line is once again going to struggle because they have no fucking help behind them in that linebacker position. Look, I truly hope that I am wrong. I want to be dead fucking wrong. I want this team to come out and make me eat every single damn word I just said. But as it sits right now, I don't see this team getting more than seven wins. It makes me sick to say that, but I am so damn tired of trying to dress up this turd to make it look like it's actually something special that now I'm just to the point where, prove it to me. Show me you can actually be a contender in this league. And I know I'm going to catch a lot of heat for this in the comment section, but this is not coming from a place of hate. This is actually coming and like straight from my heart. I have sat down to make so many videos, drawn some shit up, and just been like, no, it's not gonna fucking work. I'm not gonna waste my time. And if next season goes like I think it's going to go, you need to go ahead, fire McDaniels, get Ziegler's ass out of there, bring in a whole new fucking staff, a whole new front office, admit that you're completely rebuilding this shit, hire a real coach, bring in a real fucking quarterback, because I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, game managers do not win Super Bowls anymore. The league is no longer set up like that. Admit to everybody that you're rebuilding so they know exactly what to expect and then press reset on all this shit. Or maybe I'm wrong and we're going to come out and we're going to shock the fucking world next season. But until that happens, this team has a hell of a lot to prove to me. And I'm going to ride them and critique them more than I ever have in the past. Because there's nothing to be happy about until we start winning some games. So go ahead, light me up in the comment section. I'm a grown ass man, I can take it. But I guarantee you that I'm not the only person in the nation that feels this way right now. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man.